This is Band of Brothers Season 1 Part 9. <laughs> wait, wait. This is Band of Brothers Part 9. Because I need to stop saying the Season 1 and I need to stop saying Episode. Because there's no other season. And they are officially called Part. So Band of Brothers Part 9. It's called Why We Fight. And I think this episode is maybe going to take us back into their family side of things. Wait, what did I just say? <laughs> did that make sense? I want to see their families. I want to see their lives before and I want to see why they're fighting and I think that's what this episode is going to be. Like who who has kids? Who has um, wives? Who has moms and dads and families and homes and farms and and jobs and stuff that they want to get back to that we don't really know any of that so i think i'm hoping that's what this episode is going to be and what was last episode oh yeah the last patrol so we saw them um capturing prisoners to try and get information and then they were meant to do it again but sneakily they did not but they pretended they did again so i think that episode wasn't as hard to watch if I remember right I'm hoping this episode's going to be the same we are on the second last episode which is bittersweet because I have struggled with a few of them but I am also loving them all so it's a tough one I really want it to end but I really don't want it to end. And like I said, I think in the last episode, this one and the next one are probably going to be, it's going to go out with a bang, isn't it? Let's find out. But before that, if you like this video, then please give it a big like and give it a, I was always saying, give it a thumbs up. That's the same thing. Give it a subscribe, give it a comment and check out Patreon too. And let's play Band of Brothers, part nine, why we fight, and play. Of course, they were doing what they were supposed to do, and I was trying to do what I was supposed to do. But uh, under different circumstances, we might have been good friends. I would love to be able to speak to these men in real life. It's the best thing speaking to an <clears throat> an old person that has so many stories. It's the best. Grab by the foot. Come on. All right, this thing bites me, Frankish. I think you're yeah. You're meant to grab them by their wings, like hold them, like you're. Bro, line. Couldn't talk. Hold on, hold. They're stealing your eggs. Why don't you come sit down? Wanna sit down? Here? Come on. You're not gonna be able to understand each other. Hey, Cam Nixon. Did she slap him? I think so. Is that why he's holding his face? <laughs> I think she slapped him. So what happened? No dice with the fur line? No dice. She smacked me in the mouth. <laughs> Who the hell is that? Oh shit! <laughs> he wasn't even faced. <laughs> There's a lot of grumpy faces. Took a direct hit over the drop zone. The rest of the boys? Oh, they blew up over Germany somewhere. Boom. Oh. Guess who gets to write all the letters home? You. I got a nightmare. He likes a drink. Got a visit from Colonel Sink this morning. And how is the good Colonel? Concerned? For Nixon. Sink is transferring you back down to Battalion S3. Hear what I said, Nix? You've been demoted. Demoted, yeah. Yes. It's because of the drink. You tell him what you always tell him. Our sons died as heroes. You really still believe that? Well, it's not about what you believe, it's what the family needs to hear. And really, it doesn't matter how they die, they're still fighting for their country, so yeah, they are dying as heroes. It's right behind the rain! <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you're sitting on your bayonet there? <laughs> <laughs> Two bucks. <sighs> Nix. Nah, I'm out. Alright. What's he drinking? What is that? God damn it. I'll tell you something. Well, deal me out of the next hand. He's waiting to find another bottle. He's got a problem. <laughs> That's a big problem you've got. Thanks. Listen, I'm having some trouble finding some whiskey. Whiskey? Is that what you're drinking? 
What the hell? Hey, Jess, you have news? What news? 300,000 crowds just surrendered. That's not Tom Hardy, is it? We're moving out in an hour. One hour? Yeah. Because it looks a lot like him, but I don't think that would be the right age. He looks too young. Cats is divorcing me. She's taking everything. She's taking the dog. It's my dog! She's taking my dog! Okay. Okay, we all need to calm down. What the hell happens there if you're an alcoholic and you can't... Because you, you can't go home, can he? Oh wait, that's not what you're singing. What are you singing? Oh, what a hell of a way to die! Glory, glory, what a hell of a way to die! Glory, glory, what a hell of a way to die! It's awesome hearing them all singing. Then I'm gonna find me a nice Jewish girl. Great big soft titties. <laughs> soft. Big house. Lots of bedrooms. From all the lead guys we're gonna be making. Aww. Oh Jesus, that was loud. That was very loud in my ear holes. Oh, there's kids. You've got four minutes. Where do they have to go then? Like into a different room or a different house? Wow. You have horses. What were you thinking? That's enough, Webster. Is that all the prisoners that they got from the? What? You ignorant, servile scum! Are you okay? They're all marching in time, still. Oh, oh. I thought, I thought they needed them. I thought they needed as many as they could get. Unless they told them what they needed to know. Why the hell are you so jumpy, boy? I'm not jumpy. I'm fine. Shit, can hear He's your heart pounding in Arkansas, boy. Yeah. <laughs> Hello? Yeah, but it'll do, will it not? Why, why does it have to be that certain stuff? Oh, he's going through a really hard time here and back at home. Sure is quiet. Too quiet. Oh, please don't. You're making my heart go really fast. Don't lower your guns. What is it? What was it? What happened? No, Foley, Nixon. No, no, no. Get to Popeye. Hey, Pop. Popeye, get in your office. Nixon, Foley. What the hell was it? We came across this. What, 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 what? Frank, Frank, what is it? I don't know, sir. You're gonna have to go see. Let me see. I don't, I don't think I want to see, but let me see. I, d I didn't want to see. Bloody hell. Open it up. Has it been abandoned or? <coughs> oh my God. I, oh, I can't, I can't, I can't deal with this. Dick. What well, I I don't want to know. I was going to say what the hell is it? Oh my god! I, I can't. Jesus, Webb, can you believe this place? No, no, I can't. Oh my god! I can't. I can't. You said the guards left this morning, sir. <laughs> And then they left. And they just left the rest of them. Someone in town must have told them we were coming. Yeah, I think so. Oh my god, I, I, I can't see this. Ask him what kind of camp this is. Um... I don't, I don't want to know what they did. The Jews. 
Pullen. Ah. Women's camp is at the next railroad stop. Shit. Yeah. Shit, no it's not. No it's not. Look at their arms. Like cattle. Yep, yeah, like animals. God damn it. How are they still alive? They clearly haven't eaten or had any water or anything. How are they even managing to like walk? They're so grateful that you guys are here. Oh my god, I can't look, I can't see them. Find spears and figure out how the hell to give them some food. Water. How though? There's so many of them. <sighs> Jesus Christ! What is wrong with people? Check the back and shut up. He doesn't know. He thinks you are stealing all his food for yourselves. He doesn't know what the hell you're talking about. Doesn't know. So I can tell this is chaos. There's plenty to go around, please. Oh, but also don't eat too much because you'll make yourself sick. We need to keep them centralized so we can supervise their food intake and medical treatment. So until we find some place better. Well, get someone that can speak German to tell them that or they're going to think you're locking them back up again. <laughs> They, they're not going to go back. They'd, they'd probably rather die than go back. Or did every able-bodied German in town age 14 to 80 to start burying the bodies and it'll begin in the morning? Shit, how's that going to go? I'm really struggling with this episode. This one's a hard one. But I knew, I knew these were going to be an impact on me, these last two. I can't even imagine the smell. <laughs> Imagine having to do that. Imagine having to be, what did he say, 14? 14 years old and having to move bodies and see that. It's bad enough doing it as an adult, never mind at 14. Hitler's dead. Holy shit. Shot himself in Berlin. What is dead? Should have killed himself three years ago. Saved us a lot of trouble. Yeah, he should have. Mm, probably would have still happened. Someone else would have taken over. Did they know? Did the locals know or not? Five million. Five million. That's, that's insane. Ugh. Five million. That's hard to even, you, you can't even think. Five million people. It was Tom Hardy. How did I? He, he looks too young to be him. Right, that episode has given me a massive lump and sore throat and also a sore head. I think sometimes when I see something, I can smell it or I can, my mind can smell it or feel it. And then it makes my mind like all thick and foggy and horrible. And for example, there's I can't remember what it's called, but there's this yellow flower and it grows in fields and fields and fields here and I'm allergic to it. And when I drive past it and I see it, my my head instantly is sore. And watching the camps and like the smoke and them all struggling with the smell, it's made me think that I'm there too, smelling that smell. And it's made my mind like really sore and really heavy you just it's so hard to imagine what it would be like to be there so hard to imagine and then try and imagine it and it just makes you feel horrendous it's just the worst it's the absolute worst watching all these other episodes i wasn't even thinking about the camps like i i didn't even expect to see them at all and i don't think i've ever seen a movie or anything showing the camps so when we did see it and even like at the beginning when they saw when we knew they saw something and then they went back and told um winters and then 
then he came back again. I still was like, what the hell did they see? I had no idea. I wasn't thinking that's what it was. And then as soon as we saw it, I was like, oh shit, that's that's what it was. I don't like it. I, re I don't like seeing things like that. And I don't like, especially because it's true and it's happened and it's part of our history. And I and that's what makes it like a million, a million times worse is when you know that this is real. This is real life stuff. And you would, like, uh, aliens, aliens watching this would be like, eh, uh -uh, no way, no way human beings are this terrible and this shitty that this is real life. This is totally 100% made up. And we would think that if we were like looking at another planet and saw things like that, we would be like, how horrendous are these people? How sick are these people that these things happen? And this is this is our life. This is what we have. I'm saying we, but this is what people, our people, humans had to deal with. I feel so, so sad after that. I feel so sad. This episode's like, ugh, it's been a hard one. And now, now I'm really not yes i am but not looking forward to the last episode because i know i just know it's going to be a lot worse because it's the last episode and i'm just gonna have to go because I'm, I'm feeling very very sad i need to go watch like a really funny cartoon or something or just lie in like a dark room and think about my life and appreciate how good i have it and how good life is right now and even with all the shit that's happening in the world and it's not directly affecting me and I need to be more grateful. I think I am anyway but I think I need to be more so today after seeing that and project onto others that you should be happy and life is good. Anyway, enough of my wisdom for today. If you like this video, then please give it a big thumbs up. If you're planning to stay and you haven't already, then please subscribe. All that fun stuff, you know what to do. It helps the channel grow and I love you for it. And that is it for me, from me for today. I will see you in the next video and it will be maybe the next episode it won't be the next episode it'll be a movie the next episode after this is the last one i'm very scared already and i don't know what to do <laughs> i'm totally unprepared but we'll be fine we always are and and i'm gonna go thank you so much for watching i will see you in the next one goodbye